Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at Polygons 2. This is a second lesson on polygons, where we're going to talk briefly about what a polygon is. Then we're going to focus on triangles, quadrilaterals, and then some other 5 to 10 sided polygons, common ones that you might see, just so that you know the names of them and how to classify them. First off, a quick recap um, from the previous lesson on what is and is not a polygon. A polygon has straight edges and no openings and no lines or crossing. So this is not a polygon, this white oval, because it has curved edges. Our second figure um, here on the left side is an open figure and a curved edge, so it is not a polygon. And the dark blue figure right here is not a polygon because it has crossing sides. You see how the edges kind of cross over each other. So we're left with two polygons here. Straight edges, all of the um, edges meet at vertices or at corners, and it's a closed figure with no crossing over. So those that's the basic definition of what a polygon is. Let's talk about our three-sided polygon known as a triangle. We can classify triangles in basically two different ways. We can classify them by their angles or by their side lengths. This one is going to, we're going to classify by their angles. If a triangle has a right, not one 90 degree angle, it's called a right triangle. The red triangle up there in the upper right side is called an obtuse triangle, not because it's not very smart, but because it has an obtuse angle. You can only have one obtuse angle inside of a triangle, um, and so if it has a, uh, an obtuse angle, that means it is an obtuse triangle. And the final triangle, this little guy here, is an acute triangle. It's not acute because it's tiny. It's acute because all of the angles are acute. All angles in this triangle are less than 90 degrees. So this is what we call an acute triangle. The other way that we classify triangles, usually, is by the length of the sides. So this um, green triangle has three different sides and they are all different lengths. So that's what we call a scalene triangle. The blue triangle here, we'll call that an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangles have three sides that are the same length. And the third type of triangle here, the purple one in the middle, is called isosceles. And it is called isosceles when two of the sides of the triangle are the same length. All right, so if two sides are the same, isosceles, no sides are the same, it's scalene, and if all three sides are the same length or the same measurement, then it is a an equilateral triangle. After the three-sided polygon, we move on to the four-sided polygon. Four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. Notice the first part, quad, there. Um, like if you have a four-wheeler or um, quadruped is like for a four footed animal. Um, quad is a prefix for four. So all of the um, polygons in this section are going to have four sides. Now we classify four-sided polygons in lots of different ways and we're going to talk about just four of them in this. The parallelogram is the first polygon there on the left and the only real qualification for a quadrilateral to be a, a parallelogram is that the opposite sides are parallel. And that's it. If the opposite sides are parallel, you have a parallelogram. Now, there's lots of different types of parallelograms, and we're going to introduce you to one right over here, Mr. Rhombus. Hello, Rhombus. How are you doing? I'm doing great. All right. So Rhombus is here, and Rhombus, the opposite sides are parallel. So it's a special kind of parallelogram. It's a parallelogram where the four sides are congruent. We usually mark that using these, these tick marks here. Um, if you have one tick mark in each side, that means all four sides are congruent. Um, and so that is the second type of quadrilateral that we're going to talk about. The last two, um, this one here is kind of a special quadrilateral, and you'll notice that the opposite sides are parallel. So you can call this a parallelogram, but it's a special kind of parallelogram called a rectangle. 
And what's special about this is that all four angles measure 90 degrees. So it's kind of funny, we don't usually say a rectangle is a parallelogram, but it is true that you could say a rectangle is a very special type of parallelogram. Here's another quadrilateral, a very common one, that we call a square. A square is a very special type of quadrilateral because, again, the opposite sides are parallel, so we could call this a parallelogram. Also, all four sides are the same length, so we could call this a rhombus. However, there's something very special about the square, and that's although it is a parallelogram and it is a rhombus, it's a very special type of parallelogram and rhombus because all of the angle measurements are 90 degrees as well. Okay, so square is a type of rectangle. It's a four-sided figure with 90 degree angles. It's also a type of parallelogram. It's also a type of rhombus, but it's a very special specific type, and that's a square. And moving along, we're going to look at four more polygons classified by the number of sides that they have. If you have a five-sided polygon, it is called a pentagon. Um, penta means five, so you've got a five-sided polygon. It's going to be a pentagon. If it has six sides, it's called a hexagon. If it has eight sides, it's an octagon. Octa is that prefix um, that means eight, like an octopus. And decagon is a ten-sided polygon. So those are just some pretty common polygons that are classified by the number of sides that they have. Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, decagon with five, six, eight, and ten sides. Quick recap on what happened. We talked about what is and is not a polygon. Then we looked at classifying triangles, quadrilaterals, and naming a couple of those five-sided polygons, five to ten-sided polygons that are pretty common. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.